I'll say that generally speaking, um, the Apple Watch SE, if it's your first Apple Watch, is basically perfect. The only issue is with the always-on display. And I know Matt and I differ from this. I love the always-on display, and after having it, I could not go back to a watch without it. But I know for you, Matt, and maybe your opinion has changed over the course of the last few months. Uh, you didn't really mind the well. It was like what was what did that move was called? Kind of the raise the wrist move, raise to wake, where you just the would raise flip. your wrist and it would open up and you'd see the screen and then when it go down and went to sleep. Um, do you still love the always on display, or do you not mind it so much, or have your thoughts on that sort of change? Because that's really mainly the big difference, and we'll get into some of the other stuff between. Apple Watch SE and um, Series 7, 8, whatever the flagship model is. Yeah, I'm pretty much still thinking the same way. The always-on display is nice, but I just don't really notice it that much. Because when I'm actually using the watch, well, I'm looking at it and the screen turns on. When I'm not looking at it, well, I don't really care if it's on or off. Has there been occasions where it's come in handy to not have to flip my wrist? I'm sure, I'm, sh I'm sure it has. But eh, I, it's a take it or leave it for me still. I actually would say this, you're you're definitely not going to agree with this. I would actually say that if I had to choose between the bigger screen size of the Series 7 or Always On, I'll take this bigger screen size. Wow. I know you're not going to agree with that. No, I, <laughs> after having different Apple Watch versions, the Always On is such a big deal for me. I don't know what it is. I think it's just sort of glancing down. And especially when I was like a student in class and like I couldn't have a laptop out or something, it was just sort of nice to like glance down and see what the time was. Like it was just super convenient. Now it's like, I, now that I have it, I don't want to go back to the alternative. So that's a big deal. The bigger question, though, is I will say, regardless of which model you go with, I really wouldn't buy any Apple Watch right now because yeah. everything's going to get refreshed to some degree. Even if you don't go with the higher end Series 8, which is looking like it's not going to be a huge upgrade over the Series 7. Even if you go Apple Watch SE, there is still going to be a new version of that. So sort of I would put a pause on anything because everything is going to get some degree of an upgrade, even if it's just minor stuff. If you're sort of already going to spend the money now, I would just wait and get the latest and greatest because we know it's coming this fall, as opposed uh, to some of this other stuff when we just don't know what's going to come. So that'd be my general advice. Even though there's not a whole lot of stuff that's supposed to change with the uh, Series 8 and the SE2, uh, I would just sort of wait now if you can just because we know that's coming in september yeah and i guess this person is asking should they wait until later this year they also they know that the new ones are coming in the fall so if you're looking to buy in the fall or you're okay with waiting that long definitely wait but if you're worried about there not being changes or then i don't know if it's worth waiting like another year for the apple watch i think if you're good, if you're good to wait until the fall, then wait. But if you're going to be waiting like a whole other year, no, just no, no, either no. wait till the fall to get the eight or get the watch now because I think you'll like both. Um, do they still sell the series three? I can't remember if that was discontinued they, or not. They do right okay. now, but they do will not, not in the fall. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully they won't in the fall. But do not buy the series three, SE or seven. That's it. And I will say. Uh, maybe Robert, you will agree or disagree with this, but I will say if you have the money splurging for a little nicer material is, it, it's nice. I will say that now from your question, maybe it seems like you don't have an Apple watch currently. So at that point, just get whatever, whatever you can. I think you'll be happy with it. But if you already have one splurging for a little bit of a nicer material, like I went with stainless steel, it's a little bit more expensive granted, but I love it. I, I think that's why I like this watch a lot more than I was maybe expecting to. Hey, you, thank you very much for watching this clip from the Apple Circle podcast. If you want to check out the full episode, hit one of those videos right here and also hit the other surprise video to see a surprise clip from the Apple Circle podcast. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and subscribe to the Apple Circle audio feeds and all your favorite podcast platforms linked down below. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the main Apple Circle YouTube channel linked right down below.